The Fuller's Hook Pass is a well-designed gravel pass within the Fort Fordyce Nature Reserve starting at 556 metres and summiting at 1,140. This produces a gradient of 1 in 13 with some sections being a fairly steep 1 in 8. The pass is surprisingly well designed and is maintained to a reasonably high standard. This allows it to be driven in normal sedan vehicles in reasonable weather conditions. In heavy rain or snow conditions, a four-wheel drive vehicle will be necessary, especially near the summit area with its sharper switchbacks and steeper gradients. The pass can be accessed from the Tard R67 road between Fort Beaufort and Seymour from the north or the south. The access road is close to the settlement of Blinkvater, just south of the bridge over the Catrafir. Turn northwest onto the gravel road where the Fort Fordyce Nature Reserve signs are clearly visible. Follow this road for 1,3 kilometers till you get to the fork, then keep left and continue for 2 kilometers where a small stream is crossed. Continue for a further 1,7 kilometers till the second fork where you must keep right. All of these turns are well signposted. The Fort Fordyce Nature Reserve in the Eastern Cape lies between Fort Beaufort and Adelaide on the Amatola Escarpment and provides visitors to the area with magnificent views of the Hogsback and Catberg Mountains. Set close to the little community of Blinkvater, Fort Fordyce Nature Reserve lies on the post Retief Road, almost equidistant between Adelaide and the historical town of Fort Beaufort. The region which surrounds the Nature Reserve has a rich and interesting cultural and historical significance as the first inhabitants of this area were the San people or Bushmen. The sand left a large number of rock art in the area, the finest examples of which can be seen in the nearby Mpofu Nature Reserve. Soon you'll arrive at the control gate. On the day of filming, the booms appeared to be non-operational and the hut was totally unmanned. A sign next to the hut advises that the control point is under camera surveillance. Continue up the pass and obtain your hiking, cycling, climbing or camping permits from the main office near the summit. The pass is fairly long at 8,3 kilometers and will climb a total of 616 vertical meters. It contains within its length no less than 61 bends, corners and curves, which include 4 hairpins and 8 corners in excess of 90 degrees radius. The heading is mostly into the west, so try and drive the pass in the morning when the sun will be behind you, which will allow the spectacular views to be fully enjoyed. The reserve covers an area of 2,146 hectares and consists mainly of escarpment grasslands, indigenous forests, valleys and rocky cliffs. A variety of wildlife is housed within the reserve and includes such species as black wildebeest, red hartebeest, bushbuck, birchal zebra, mountain reedbuck, blue dacre, baboon and tree dussy. The reserve also serves as an excellent birding destination and is home to a large variety of bird species which include the threatened Cape Parrot, Eagles, Nisna Luris, Sunbirds, Flycatchers, Hornbills and Barbets. The forest hosts amongst the most diverse and richest species in Southern Africa. Fort Fordyce is also an ideal place for horse riding enthusiasts and allows visitors the opportunity for nature and game viewing on horseback. Visitors are also able to receive some informal training on the various aspects of horse riding and horse handling, making the experience all the more memorable. Another popular and ideally suited activity in the nature reserve is hiking, with good bases within the reserve from which to start hiking include the Harris Hut in a forest setting and the Pakamisa with its fantastic hilltop setting. Much of the pass is enclosed within the forest canopy, but there are one or two places where these sweeping southern views can be fully appreciated. If you intend driving this pass, be sure to watch part 2, which covers the second, more technical half of the route, as well as the summit area.